Hey folks, welcome. Here we discuss real stories by real people. Today we have the story of a man who finds out his girlfriend has been in love with another man all along. Let's see how it goes. Story 1. I'm going to assume no one from here will know the story, but the title sums it all up. Here's a short summary. We have been together for five years, and I was almost at the proposal stage. During the first months of our relationship, she had an emotional affair with a friend she used to have a thing with. She cut him out of her life when I found out, and I gave her another chance. I thought we moved past it and that she was over him. Turns out she wasn't. When I got home from work, the first thing she said to me was that D, the other guy, died because he fell. This was the conversation. Her. D died. Me. Oh yeah? He was asking for it. Didn't he do the stupid parkour things? This ended up in a heated argument and her calling me heartless. She didn't talk to me for a week after that. Last night, I saw her crying while looking at photos of him and her while they were a thing. I apologized and asked if we could talk tomorrow and all I heard was a faint, yes. We did talk. She admitted to falling in love with him during the affair and reconnecting with him one to two years ago on Facebook and having small conversations. God knows what else happened, but I'm not interested in knowing the rest. All I know is she chose to betray me even when I made it clear I wanted him out of our lives. I'm now at a friend's house and she's been calling and messaging me, even having the audacity to call my parents and demanding them to tell me to call her back. The pain is too much right now. I haven't eaten since. I don't think I can. I don't want to do anything, including moving. I want to stay in bed and sleep in for the rest of my life. Everything reminds me of her. Five years of my life wasted. All the money, the time, our apartment that I'm planning to give up to her because she doesn't have anyone else. I hate this. What did I ever do to deserve this? Update 1. Hello everyone, I've read every single comment and I'd like to thank everyone for the kind words. These past few days have been really hard on me. I only had almost 3 hours of sleep last night and it's currently midnight right now. I'm not going to consider getting back with her. I'm trying to be okay. Update. It has been weeks since the biggest shitstorm in my life happened. I've never been so wrecked, so emotionally drained and traumatized. My ex-girlfriend decided to move out of the apartment just over a week ago. We both signed an agreement that the apartment becomes mine. That was the last time I saw her. Nothing big happened except her friends talking me out of this breakup. Stupid idiots. She's still trying to come back to me, but I'm slowly starting to heal and accepting the fact that her chapter in my book is over, so her door to me is now locked. I'm currently seeing someone to help me get over her, and I think it's working. I've tried a couple things and even went skydiving. It felt good. The thought of her still hurts me deeply, but I'm certain it'll go away. I'm hopeful at the moment. Maybe being alone isn't so bad after all. It made me reconnect with a lot of friends and family. Thank you everyone for the help and the advice. It might seem little to a few people, but your understanding and words gave me comfort. Sadly, you were her backup, and the AP was her one true love. She's now desperately trying to get back with you because she's feeling the effects of losing your wallet. You don't owe her anything. Obviously, you're going to feel bad for weeks, maybe months. She's been your partner for five years, and you were about to marry her. Now you come home to find out she's still in love with another man, all the while keeping you tethered to her because you foot the bills. It takes a special kind of evil to do that. You're better off without her. Tell her to stop contacting you and to confirm your breakup. Get your stuff out when she's not around and with a friend as a witness. Make sure there's no room for a private conversation. She has no privilege to that anymore. Now for some comments. She should be thankful that you didn't hop up and dance a jig. So turned out that she didn't cut contact with him after all. That means that the affair continued. Ask her if she would cry if a man who beat her kids died. This fuckwit helped her to hurt you in one of the worst ways possible. I wouldn't piss on one of my wife's APs if they were on fire and they were hanging by their fingertips over a precipice. I'd be hard pressed not to give them a shove. Personally, if I were you, I'd be more concerned that she cared, in particular given the fact that it sounded like she was still in an affair with him. She maintained a relationship with you both. Now that she has lost the real love of her life, she is left with you. So she will grasp at all she can to keep you close. She is a horrible person and you can't save her or help her. Only she can learn from this and that is if she's really willing to see what is wrong with her. Most cheaters won't look to themselves when they cheat. Why would they? They have a perfectly willing victim to take blame right in front of them most of the time. You're right to have left. You need to take the time to heal and move on from her. Life is too short to stay with someone that'll treat you this way. Story 2 
Last week, I was completely and utterly happy. Head over heels in love with my fiance. We've been together for years. We found out in May she was pregnant. Life didn't feel like it could get any better. I'm an essential worker and still unfortunately have to travel from time to time for my job. I've been trying to cut down on plane travel and will drive if able. Last week, I was scheduled to be gone all week but ended up being able to leave several days ahead of time, but wanted to surprise my fiance. It was an eight hour drive, but ended up being close to 14 because of traffic and poor timing on my part. I get home around 10.30 p.m. and find her and a co-worker in our bed together having sex. She's an assistant producer at a local news station and he's one of the anchors. She immediately tries to defuse the situation and says it's not what I think it is and not to jump to conclusions. He jumps up and puts his clothes on and leaves. I was so angry I was seeing stars. She tries to talk to me about it, but I don't want to hear it. I leave and call a buddy and have been staying with him for the past six days. I spoke to her on the phone yesterday and she she told me it was a one-time thing and she feels like the passion has been missing in our relationship, which I don't agree with at all. I think she was trying to justify the cheating and gaslight me. I'm so angry and she won't stop harassing me. I don't know what to do. We're going to be parents and I don't want anything to do with her, but I'm stuck with her for the next 18 years, minimum. She hasn't even apologized. She just keeps trying to justify her actions. Update. So sorry for taking so long to update. This week has been hellish. Met with my friend's lawyer, family law buddy, early last week. He contacted her and threatened to go public about their affair, so she was more forthcoming with information. She told him that they had been sleeping together for over a year. She's 85% sure the baby is mine because they never have unprotected sex, but doesn't want to have a DNA test until the baby's born. Lawyer believes the baby is the other guy's based on this comment. I haven't fully moved out yet. Just moved a lot of my clothes into my buddy's place. The lawyer thinks I should sell the house and not let her buy me out because he doesn't think she has the funds and would BS me. Also, sorry if I don't answer you. I got a ton of messages here and in DMs. I tried to answer as much as I could. If you have any other questions, I'll be on for a bit. Final update. I really appreciate the support and love during this trying time. On to what you're here for. We did multiple DNA tests. The baby is mine. He was born a few weeks ago and is by far the greatest thing to happen to me. He makes all this mess worth it. His mother and I are not together. I strictly speak to her about the baby and that is all. House is sold. Still living with my buddy. Hoping to buy a new home in the next few months for my son and I. I did not go public with the affair out of respect for our son. Her employers know and she was terminated. He is still working there. I'm not sure what their relationship consists of, and I don't care. I'm guessing he bolted. Edit. I have no idea why he wasn't fired. I'm guessing because he's harder to replace? Maybe he's on probation? He doesn't appear to have a significant other either. From what I've seen on his social media pages, he's a player. Follows a lot of local models and NFL cheerleaders. Probably hooks up with him, but nothing serious besides my, at the time, pregnant fiancé. What an awful woman. Protect your child at all costs from that woman. Try your hardest to get full custody. Serves her right to get fired. What a disrespectful act it is to the child for the mother to keep sleeping with an affair partner when she's pregnant. If he's a player, it means she was voluntarily putting her baby at risk. An STD that could transmit to the baby could have detrimental effects. So glad you're free from her. She's unbelievably evil. She'll soon wake up from the affair fog and realize the damage she caused to so many people. That'll be the day to witness. Now for comments. This is what mind-boggling when Cheater caught red-handed and proceed to explain, this is not what you're thinking. What an insult to OP intelligence. She tripped, fell, landed on his dick, and kept going till OP came back home? That anchor guy is a predator. I wish you had gone public with his involvement. How can anyone trust the news coming out of his mouth if they can't trust their wives' girlfriends around him? This guy deserves to be exposed. How many other relationships has he destroyed to feed his ego? I'm glad the child's yours so you can enjoy your son with no doubts. Happy you were able to find out about her before your relationship reached a point where it would be even more difficult to leave. Good luck with the house hunting.